sacrifice, nigga. You ain't gonna go through life and don't sacrifice shit, nigga. Sometimes it's gonna be time. Sometimes it's gonna be money. Sometimes it's gonna be life, nigga. Sacrifice, nigga. Shit, shit. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? It's time for that Culture for the Streets podcast. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Don't leave up the trap till you've been served. We gonna get straight to it. We gonna get into Gislaine, Maxwell, role and involvement in the Jeffrey Epstein case with, you know, the sex trafficking shit. Listen, I'm gonna tell you just like this, anybody that's involved in sex trafficking especially with a celebrity name even if you don't have a celebrity name because sex trafficking is very very delicate and it's very serious and it has become an actual big thing in the industry today like it's happening all over where i mean it's not just women it's men it's kids women it's everybody they snatching it's crazy and it's hubs everywhere about this shit. You see it more commonly now today on in media and news more than ever. But Ghislaine Maxwell's role in partaking in the sex trafficking ring and situation they had going on, her and Jeffrey Epstein, 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 however you say it, she got 20 years. Now once again, this is actual. This is actual human trafficking. Sex trafficking is nigga human trafficking too. Because you you might be selling, you might be trafficking sex, but you you trafficking humans at the same time. So it it's almost like these things coexist with each other, right? So if you ask me, twenty years was a little bit too light because look how they doing R. Kelly. They trying to give him like a, a outrageous amount of time in jail about some stuff that happened 20, 30 years ago, maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago, either which way it, you landed, it's a go, past time, past tense, past time. And they trying to throw him under the jail and build a whole clubhouse over the mud. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like with her and with Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein, however you say it, I'm saying how I say it. I feel like both of them better, you know, I deserve more than 20 years. They trying to get R. Kelly more than that. So they should get just the same amount of time as R. Kelly, if not more. I feel more because look what they was doing. She helped traffic over 20 herself. You see what I'm saying? So it wasn't like she just had a role in being on the phone. No, nigga, she was really taking part in this situation and only got 20. Now, I ain't the smartest nigga in the world walking around because I still had to crawl before I walk like any other baby before they grow up. But this shit serious than what you think. Because they was sex trafficking. This is not nobody calling somebody parents and asking for permission to fly their kid. This is not the same thing. They was taking people against their will, had them doing things against their will. Everything was against their will. And all you got was 20 years. I know niggas outside that got caught with nine ounces of dope, whether it was soft or hard and got more than that. On the scale, this don't even weigh the same. And she talking about, I, I hope y'all, the harsh punishment that I received with my sentence is a pleasure to y'all. Nigga, you deserve at least 40 more years on top of the 20. You talking about is we happy? No, nigga, we not happy. You should have got some more time. Ain't that what you say when you see a nigga go to, uh, go to court and go to jail? You feel like he should have got more time, even if he got more, more time than what he was supposed to get. Nigga might have got five years. You over here. I, I feel he should have got 15. But you can sex traffic in. You feel like 20 was too much. No, nah, bitch. That wasn't enough. You and that nigga. Y'all should have, y'all should share 150 years. 
And I ain't the type of nigga to wish jail on nobody. But if you human trafficking and you sex trafficking, meaning people being against their will in the process of all of this shit, bury your ass up under the jail and kick mud all over the motherfucker. And then get a bike and bust willies all over the mud. You bury them. Like, who cares? At this point, you just as bad as a pedophile. I hate them too. The world is sick, and then you see a lot of rich people. It don't have a certain color because it's people that's it's broke people that's sick in the head, but it's also a lot of rich people that's sick in the head and shit like this shows you every day. So while y'all watching rap videos, why niggas got their guns in it, pay attention to what these rich people doing while they snatching folks. Sex trafficking and human trafficking, this shit worse than drugs, nigga. Because people coming up missing, people doing forced to do shit, being took away from their families, all kind of shit. Then these white folk will come to court and be like, well, I felt like that was too much. How? You over here, baby, kidnapping. The judge should be in court like this when he hear the charges. He be, should be smushing the gavel on the on the count on the on the on the smush. Bury both of them. Y'all hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. It's time for that culture for the streets podcast. And leave about the traps you've been served.